Namaskar. Hello and welcome to Peer Guru's channel. I am your host, Sri Ayer. Today I have a brand new guest, Sri Deva Priya. He is a political analyst. He is a celebrity in Tamil uh, YouTube channels as well as on Tamil TV. And, and he, his, view, his videos are very avidly watched. Today we have him for the first time in English on Peer Guru's channel. So let's welcome Sri Deva Priya ji. Deva Priya ji, Namaskar and welcome to Peer Guru's channel. How are you, sir? Namaskaram. I have been very following you for long. It's a honor to be here in English. Uh, sir, uh, pleasure is all ours. Viewers, he's a regular on P Guru's Tamar. He is, uh, he is uh, almost once a week, he's on our channel and we've been talking many, many issues. In fact, today's conversation came about because I was listening to what he was saying in our Tamar channel. They said, wait a minute. The entire world doesn't know some of the startling facts behind the rise of this guy called Jafar Sadiq and his dubious links with another individual called Amir, who goes, calls himself Director Amir. Now, as soon as Sadiq's name was mentioned, Amir went on a you know rant spree. He would talk this, I don't know him. In other words, he was trying to say that uh, my father is not hiding in the bush. Now, what has happened is that the NCB is beginning to question Amir. I don't know why they say that they are going to question. They should have already been questioning him because these guys will vanish like a hole. They'll go and hide there somewhere. So let's take the latest information from uh, Deva Priyaji. Sir, I would like you to go back maybe 2010 or 11 when first time Jafar Sadi came to uh, Chennai to sell perfume, I heard. No, he, he was from Madurai or, his, or Ramnathapuram was his native. He was mostly known as first in the pirating CD, copy CD of new movies and self-pirated movies, which means that a CD will fetch him hardly one or two rupees on the wholesale. And uh, uh, one person can sell hardly 1,000 to 2,000 rupees. See, once you copy one and go to the market, another person can do it. And I have seen some people who are doing with single PC, they will do 20 VCDs in 10 minutes. Well, yes. 20 CD, so CD writers within a PC, so that's masterpieces. So, uh, so he was in such a business and he was arrested in a particular film called Kochadayan, uh, sorry, uh, some of the movie which was Sharath Kumar was the hero and uh, the movie was released in Malaysia and he got it before the release of the movie here and so the there was a very hula uh, bula and he was arrested in Gunda. So in that time, it is reported the, he got connection in the, uh, uh, the jail with drug people and he, his being a Muslim helped him to make contacts and he has started it. And 2013, he, he, he was arrested after his car fell into an accident and they took, uh, I mean, catched drugs in it. And they, they arrested four persons that included two of his brothers. Actually, when you see Jay, yeah, Jafar Sadiq alone. His movie company is called JSM Pictures. J refers to Jafar Sadiq. Yes refers to um, and Syed Daman, uh, his brother who is in BC. This, this man is in DMK. Second person, Muhammad Salim. Yes, is Salim. He is in BCK, Vridali Sikhte Kalkachi, a Dalit party. And his third brother he is the hero of this Amit's movie who is called Maidin. Okay, these three. From, in 2013, he was arrested. Case was going on. That, that time, a senior lawyer, Paul Kanagaraj, who was in DMK, helped him. And the local police did not give the correct proofs in time so that he could get away. In 2017, again, he was arrested. He was in bail. He tried to go to foreign countries with passport. And uh, it happens. Sir, sir uh, the, the name Paul Kanagaraj rings a bell in my mind. Is he the same person who is contesting Chennai North on a BJP ticket now? Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, so viewers, this should tell you, we are not going to hide anything. If there is a wart on BJP skin, that will come out. Okay, I just wanted to tell you that because many people say, you guys are BJP Kuja, we are nobody's Kuja, we are our own Kuja, we've got our own Kuja. Sir, please go ahead, sorry about that. No, that's okay. So, the, uh, no, actually, Paul Kanagaraj more practices NCB cases. Okay, so uh, he took one of the costliest lawyers and got away with it. But in the later case, he, uh, he got bail, and uh, the report of the I mean, NCB says he has, uh, I mean, exported large quantities of ketamine, and he is, they have used the word, he is one of the kingpins of export to Malaysia. So, but he still got his passport released. 
and in the meantime the moment dmk came to power he is at least registered five or six companies in his name uh, one is uh, an llp all others are private limited companies so the in around february 2000 middle of february 2024 last month i mean uh, the first report started came in police i mean cncb alert i mean uh, informed the tamil police that he is a wanted criminal but after that four days after it he participated in his movie function also only at the end of the month 27th or 28th of december ncb openly came to chennai they raided his house and they i mean the, they saw that they have vacated and most of the it is vacant i mean the ncb's arrival has been reported to him and he has already vacated the place and they sealed it and went away the same day or the next day the ncb went to another courier service called sahara express courier limited private limited which belong to a dmk leader called sitra rasu this sitra rasu is the uh, the chennai west uh, leader for the uh, district leader and he is a right hand of udayanidhi stalin okay he and uh, he handles udayanidhi stalin's uh, our uh, candy i mean uh, chennai chepak that uh, in i mean the constituency for which he is an mla now he is also close to stalin uh, which we can see by a simple example when there was the uh, floods in chennai writer indumathi uh, made a big pay- facebook page that i ca- call my close friend durga stalin and requested help as the dr- drainage came into my house and uh, they immediately within 10 15 minutes i got a call from uh, mass brahmanian minister and also from sitter so they said they will help them with food packets or something she said my generator is falling i want it to be lifted then uh, they could not do much again she called durga stalin and say he got higher help and she went out and this post became viral and she was uh, everybody said only if you know durga stalin you will be helped otherwise you cannot be helped this post was deleted uh, but still i have the screenshot of the same okay now so this person was close to the first family both uh, son and the father udayanidhi stalin and stalin or mrs stalin also now this particular movie mangai is the movie for which uh, mrs udayanidhi stalin uh, when kritika stalin released one of the songs and in the confession as reported in the media by ncb director this movie mangai is totally produced from the money by which he used for earned from drug trafficking now the heroine of this movie is an heroine who was earlier acted with udayanidhi also so we can understand the links now this person jafar sadi uh, as the i mean got a hotel in chennai the porasavakam one of the i mean busy commercial areas which was opened by our hr and ce minister shekhar bob see sir uh, so you can see the links he has got a uh, biryani restaurant in his uh, brother's name called salim bhai biryani at least 10 branches were there in the uh, past now most of them are closed right now after the incident All other than this he has got a common uh, another he has got four or five companies if you want see if you go to this name of the companies google will get you all the names of the companies i mean no, no need to do anything only if you are a paid subscriber you can get how who holds how many shares but list of director names are there so i can give you all the five names if you want um, just just one one uh, small interruption uh, devapriya ji mm-hmm. you, you mentioned that uh, the the crime proceeds are going to uh, are, are were used in the making of that movie called mangai now there was a poster i want to make absolutely sure that there is no doubt about here because there was a poster doing the rounds in social media that uh, kritika herself was the director of that movie then you if you see the small print there is another name for the director um, just let's just do, do you know what is the truth was she the director or she just came as a guest no. to release one song no she is not the director officially she is not the director of the movie she has been given the title director as you call me political analyst she is now she is booked as the director for the next movie a prajain movie so she is called uh, i mean director by uh, her name otherwise she is not connected with that movie except for releasing of the song i am telling what is official nothing yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. no we okay. we want to we want to stay to the facts absolutely sir right. so now one one thing hmm. that people say i mean we'll get back to the main story correct yeah, right. 
today if i if i travel and i travel in tamil nadu quite a bit evening time 8 o'clock 9 o'clock in the morning, evening till about 4 am because sometimes i come in late i also still see it all shops will be closed but there'll be one brightly lit shop every half a kilometer or so selling biryani yeah it will be very clean it will be very bright and it will be full there are two problems with this one i'm hearing that there is some kind of a chemical being mixed in this biryanis to make people important second is that this is all being run by a network consisting of members of the minority community uh, we can do a separate episode i just wanted to mention this so you said that five biryani stores were closed right is there any connection yes, between the two no salim bhai biryani his brother is uh, called Mo- salim so it's in the name is name salim bhai biryani belongs to jaffa sadik group now uh, see this person is said to have produced four movies at the rakaraka kamen consecutively for one of which is iraiva iraivan nigapiriyan which is directed by amir and uh, except for last schedule it is over and uh, mangai is over almost should have been released on march 1 and the whole episode started two days earlier otherwise i think the film movie is completed now there are other two movies one is indra and the run and another is a movie which belongs to amir he has completed the i mean the earlier production post production works are pending he has not got money and this man has I mean, jafar sadik has been taken as an associate producer i mean this is what is officially said now if you take tamil movies almost 90% of the theaters have been taken over contract by a single corporate from rajain movies belonging to the first family now you have if you want to release the movies you have to go to only rajain movies so we can understand the link now amir i mean he, during the uh, jsm residency hotel in porsavakam this man jafar sadik said mr amir has been my close friend and guide and he has been with me in all ventures so not just the movies in the movie thing uh, in his iraivan megaperivan launch story amir said this man uh, has been asking me for the last 5 years to make a movie for himself uh, with his brother as a lead role and i accepted only now and we have started in another of amir's uh, uh, program he said he is my distant relative now we can see what are the contrast now out of his four, five or six companies he is very true person this jafar sadik is very sure to export drugs what he made was a food company jsm foods sea foods company then he made a courier company he made a logistics company he, he there was even a pharmaceutical company so for a synthetic drug what are all required he has made it so now today ncb had sent last week Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, it is surprising. It is not NIA or ED, but directly NCB has called these three persons, including Ami. Uh, out of that, uh, one of his company is called Zoco uh, Overseas Private Limited. The directors, when it was registered in 2022, was only two persons. One is Jawhar Sadik, and second is Amir Sultan, who is nothing but the director. Now, after eight months of this, there was one more person uh, added. who is called abdul bashid as per the company slab but his full name is abdul bashid bukhari or more correctly maulvi abdul bashid bukhari he is a wahabi maulvi preaching he has got very wild following in instagram uh, youtube and facebook almost four to five lakh followers in each so this man also runs four five companies and the, the amir what he said after this jafar sadik incident came that this uh, so zoco over this was company was founded only for promoting food business of this book, abdul bashid bukhari and actually abdul bashid bukhari owns these two restaurant which is already open the two restaurants are one is very near to maya jal in ecr called 4 am cafe it starts from morning 4 to night 12 and evening 4 to night 12 i mean morning 4 to afternoon 12 with a break and evening for to night for so it is called 4 am cafe now after this they went in for another in, uh, restaurant in uh, radha krishnan road which is the fastest road and near if it for easy entry to avm and this is called law cafe and this opening 
the invitation had only two names as owners, which is Sir Amir Sultan and uh, I mean Jawar Sadiq. But during the meeting, he said three of us are the owners. A third person was this Bukhari. Now this Amit, I mean the Maulvi. Now, now after this arrest and all this, now he claim he says only that man owns the place. And if you go to the other person's video, one of the videos he had said, Muslims are mainly in two business. One is Purvis, bringing uh, gold, and another is also in drug business. We should avoid it. We should do only halal business. I mean, this is talking. Uh, it's one of the speeches the Maulvi has spoken this. Sir, the, the, this has been doing the rounds about what gets served in some of these biryani restaurants. Because, see, as a habit, right, India, South India is predominantly vegetarian. Now you are feeding people in the middle of the night meat and oil and all kinds of spices. That actually wreaks havoc on your digestive system over a period of time. Yet, it has been made cool that you should go and eat biryani at these, these places. The names don't say that they are of a certain uh, religion. The names are like you said, La Cafe or 4 AM Cafe and things like that. My question, sir, is I'm also hearing, and I don't know, you, are, you probably have more information. I'm also hearing that most Muslim youth don't go to these places. They like to eat in Saravanabhavan and A to B. So, no, why is it that they are avoiding their own biryani? I, I, just read me this puzzle, sir. No, first thing is whether it is vegetarian biryani or non veg biryani. Any biryani with so much of oil and spice is dangerous. You can take only once in 15 days. Another thing is kasa kasa is normal. I mean, forget about artificial chemicals added. The, the one item kasa kasa which is normally added to biryani is also a byproduct of marijuana. So that makes you to uh, stress this point out. This is uh, so if it is added in a little more version, it becomes I mean a drug. But normally kasa kasa is also added, which forms a part of a byproduct of marijuana, or more easily for the people it is ganja. So uh, the PDA, you get addicted. Even some of the biscuits you see sir, taste are different, which has addiction. You cannot stop with one packet. That's the nature of it. So these have got products which are chemicals which make you eat again and again. But anybody who is eating a biryani more than once in a week certainly is likely to get into trouble. Forget about the rumors of whether impotency chemical or other thing. Even the normal spice and the oil which they use are dangerous for a person if you eat more than a week, if not 15 days, once in a week. Now, these, as you said, even at night, 2 o'clock, these are open. Another thing which is open in a city is resto bars. They call it restaurant come bar, which are where the food is very costly. I don't know where, as you are in America, uh, three, four days back, I think on 28th of March, one of the harshest uh, restaurants, uh, I mean, the roof fell down and three workers died and 12 guests got injured. And it was owned by Sand Mafia, Kamanal Karigalan. As per DMK Dinakaran paper, I mean, some of the, uh, I mean, uh, I, I mean, the journalists claimed it. It belongs to Manal Karigalan. I didn't want to name it till I got it assured because the name of the owner reported in Hindu or something as Ashok Kumar or something. But clearly, Dinakaran paper online edition, right? You can go and check, and also the print edition. I have a copy of it. Both say Manal Karigalan owned that. Uh, I mean, restaurant uh, where, uh, which had the accident happened. I mean, Sheikh Mat Bar. Okay, Sheikh Mat Bar, Bar, Sheikh Mat Bar. So, this is the situation. And all these have to close at 2 o'clock officially. And I think in February or April, my January, at 3 o'clock, there was a scuffle and police entered and stopped them. So, they don't really close at 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock as per permit. They work for long hours. This is another problem. Eating food at the late hour. Uh, I mean, I don't know why is that required. The habits are changing. Maybe IT sector who works on night shift may require, but they may not be able to come out of the uh, office or to take food at this biryani shop. And if you move on Sunday, I see quite a lot of biryani shop. Few stands for at least half a kilometer. There are places. So I don't know what is happening, but okay, let us come to this case. So this man, yeah, so now three persons have been requested by NCB to attend the, uh, their Delhi office today. 
one was uh, jafar same namir sultan director the second was maulvi uh, i mean abdul bashid bukhari and the third was one sayed ibrahim one of the directors the as per hindu paper yesterday that sayed ibrahim had said i will come only on 11th due to his earlier commitments yesterday and the other two had agreed to come today but yesterday afternoon onwards there were rumors on the uh, social media that uh, amir has requested also to postpone it till completion of ramzan which happens on 9th but today he has personally visited and as per social media morning they just called had a one to one for 10 minutes and then asked him to sit a sit in the reception and he just sitting. and this is the way and uh, i mean ncb normally what they want you to confuse for 6 hours make you feel they will feed you with everything and then put you into the questions which you don't expect it from them which they have recovered in the meantime in chennai the after jafar sadik arrest they have got other they have, from his sources another person called sadanandam was arrested and he informed that they were making packaging with within the food products these things and uh, so uh, they have taken a house for rent Uh, saying that they will be packing food products in Perungudi, which is in the OMR, uh, proper IT express highway nearby that, and they were doing the packing. They said these people will come for two three days uh, once in a week and do some packing, and they go. It's not their daily operating. So when they get an order, they will do it. See another thing is if you look into the papers, uh, I mean La, I mean March, uh, Cochin NCB raided ten courier services. they had they they saw that people are importing drugs from germany and other places through courier to telegram groups and money is transferred by bitcoin and courier the delivery of the drugs to your house now the second day we as i told you after the raid of uh, his house jafar sadik they raided another courier service which belonged to the dmk leader which is called sahara express courier service i mean and uh, as per of course this confession i have not read as per one of the senior journalists who doesn't normally give any impact this one he had said that the dubai based major exporter of coal and oil or uh, well to be as he has named it i have no problem he has named coal and oil group uh, which is almost 3 billion group has got involvement with jafar sadi and uh, there is one more jalaluddin who was a contractor in tamil nadu government who was an uncle of jafar sadiq most of the dispatches which has happened to america i mean australia or new zealand have been booked under the name of jalaluddin and he was more patronized by admk so the link may go to admk also this has been sent by ravana channel but is more reliable now who will not say without much proofs very very interesting information so you can see that the tentacles are spreading slowly but surely viewers everything goes back to the book that is uh, you know animating behind me who painted my money white the the reason why all this has happened is because from 1990s late 1990s to about i think 2000 and maybe 12 or 13 or even 14 there was container loads of fake currency that was coming into india and according to the calculations by one of the director generals of police dr sen kumar when he released my book in kochi he said that according to him the estimated fake currency that came into india consisting of 500 and 1000 rupee notes is 4 lakh crores 4 lakh crores now what happens is that 4 lakh crores got spread seeded in kerala very quickly so what ended up happening was in kerala every useful land piece of land river front ocean front along the only national highway guess who owns it one community the hindu community is 48 to 49% of the population in kerala guess how much land they own 17 17% guess how many industries they have 16% you see how the whole the state has been scooped out using fake currency and these rascals going by the name of upa keep telling us that they are the patriots what nonsense i i am telling you sir even today that money that came from there so till 2016 there was much cash in circulation in india so that 4 lakh crores had a velocity of 10x which means through the indian economy 40 lakh crores was under circulation now having 
cut the fake currency part. Somewhere else this has taken root. Like he said, Kuruvi. Kuruvi is smuggling gold. Now, the gold was being smuggled in from 2016. It came all the way to the door of the chief minister, Mr. Pinarayi Vijayan. And yet, they have just kind of tamped it down. Nothing has happened. See, on the one side, you have all these raids. NIA is conducting raids. They are banning organizations like PFI. But the people in PFI have just gone underground and they have come out and they have started doing other things. In Cafe Ramayaswaram, everybody implicated is a, a former PFI person. So, what I am trying to say is, this fake currency started racket has now wreaked havoc in the southern part of India. Deva Priyaji, you know, I I am I am a little surprised as to why NCB is so slow. I mean, to be commissioned, to be, why can't they just go and pick up Amir before he hides? They could have picked him up a long time ago. As soon as Jafar Sadiq was arrested, this guy was giving interviews every day to different channels saying, I am this guy, I am not, I have nothing to do with. He was singing, very, you know, ranting that he had nothing to do with Jafar Sadiq. So why is it so slow? NCB is moving. I'm not saying it's not moving. Why is it still so slow? No, NCB, IEB, all this will not work like normal our police. They will tra mostly try to track the telephone records of the last two months and see that they have all the records before calling the person and questioning them. So that they are saying lies, I don't know about it. Or that. I mean, all this cannot be allowed. Now, you were saying about this fake money or thing. I will just tell you another example. The biggest protest which started now, I mean, sitting in the roads, and making protest, which went into the last agriculture farmers protest or before that was CAA, the the that was done in Chennai against Jallikad. And they all sat down on the beach road, Marina Beach Road, uh, for almost a week and done. And one of the uh, now present MLAs of BCK, Vridalai Sirtai Kachi, which they call they come themselves claim as Dalit party. But they had, they, I mean, they had put six candidates for the MLA post, and four of them were crypto Christians. Without any doubt, they were all crypto Christians. I have their, I mean, uh, I have their. Uh, this one downloaded. Their parents or wife names are Christians. I mean, they, I mean, uh, one year so his he his fa father died recently, and he was the cremation was I mean, or his burial was done as per Christian with a priest. So another person is uh, I mean, uh, Gautam Sanna, who claims himself as a Buddhist. His father's name was John Jibra or something. So like this, four of the candidates were clearly Christians and two, one was a Muslim. And this Muslim, is, Muslim fellow came into a TV channel and said, we fed beef biryani for the protesters at the Marina Beach, who were, pro were protesting to save Cow and, uh, I mean, uh, so this what is an the, <laughs> and not only that, this Tirma Vallavan participated, they made a movie called, I think, uh, Merina Purachi or something in Tamil, and he was invited for that. He said, I was told that with every biryani packet, a condom was served, and more than 6,000 condoms were found by the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, cleaners near the, behind the boats near the, I mean, show. This is what he said. These are all in the public arena. I mean, I can send you the video. I mean, there is no item say. Now, I went, tried to visit one of the days. I was staying in that time in Triple again. From the eyes house to cross to that side, I tried for half an hour. I could not go that side. But within 10, 15 minutes, I had three or four packets of bisleri water, biscuit packet and all that. I mean, who was serving all this? And now we can, and very clearly, one of the senior, uh, I mean, reputed journalists had said money was given by, I mean, PF was, PFI was behind, TNTJ, another Wahhabist uh, preachers were behind, and uh, Christian Maoists were behind, and Martin's son, second son, uh, runs a political party to do this. He was involved. All this are in TV is all, I mean, very popular channel has got the TV with the interview of that, uh, I mean, journalist. I don't have to hide. I, I don't mind even selling. Sandhya Ravishankar had given this video. I don't have to say that anything else. Uh, Devapriyaji, uh, when you said Martin, you are not referring to Lottery, Lottery Martin, are you? Very much I am referring to Lottery Martin. He has got to, uh, I mean, his wife is in our political party. His first son is, uh, I mean, joined BJP from Bihar or somewhere, Madhya Pradesh, if I remember correct. 
and his second son uh, i mean runs his own party and he also supports another uh, person called may 17 who does a negative publicity against indian unity okay this is they have I mean, the entire protest against india uh, or rss whatever they call has been funded with this foreign money which could be most likely to be the money from drugs now this person has was producing simultaneously four movies let us say one movie cost you 50 crores i mean not even avm or uh, not even any big production house in the in i mean uh, bombay today produces more than one movie where did he got this money and how come he can start a hotel in uh, this one then uh, biryani a chain of biryani such as alimba biryani other than that this cafes okay this person this two cafes where amir first claimed he was a, a partner these two are located in prime commercial area one is very near to maya jal and second is in dr radha and those places will not be available without an advance of 2 3 crore rupees and the interiors were worth several i mean at least 50 to 6 i know civil i mean uh, engineer and the value of banks i know what is the value and the market rates so now with this kind of money and that preacher says getting money for loan is a uh, halal then how could how did he do it and uh, amir had said in the interview if that company had only an uh, paid up shares of 3 lakh rupees you are talking about 2000 crore whereas i go to the companies of uh, this uh, maulvi abdul bashir his company has got a paid up capital of only 1 lakh and where come this uh, posh uh, bars are possible i mean either this jafar shadi should have bought this places and given them for a par i mean very pity sum as a rent I mean, things have to come in the next year. The uh, as per the director, uh, the confession of Jafar Sadiq, he has invested in real estate, he has invested in movies, and he has invested in restaurant and uh, in the industry. So, what are all this directly in his name? What are all Pinamis? Because we don't know when it is in a Pinamis name. Many companies in the last two years, many people have direct they change the name of the company. I mean, director they go behind if their names one company I will name it. Sheshank Realtors Private Limited. This Sheshank refers to SCA refers to Sendamarik Stalin. SCA refers to Sabrizan. I mean, and uh, so they made a reality company after G Square directly with two of these people as directors. But once these rates come, now if you go to the same pages which showed them earlier, the, they they have not gone out as directors. Maybe they 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 may still be shareholders. Now they have got paid working directors. so how they avoid i mean these things this is really surprising mm. and devo priya ji i i didn't want to stop your flow but uh, i i'm running out of uh, you know memory there right. are so many questions coming up uh, first right. thing that all my christian brothers and sisters from tamil nadu as well as most of india you should realize tirumalavan himself is believed to be a crypto christian and you know he is termiting your own organization is what people are saying in other words churches sit on a lot of land a lot of property and it is believed that using this dalit christian network that he is trying to take over some of the more richer dioceses okay so you you should really talk to some of the people who are administering your properties anywhere we go there is there is a lot of dilution there is a lot of hanky panky going on tomorrow you will have a a, a, a totally different uh, uh, um, a, a, a setup the schools that you are thinking that are running on money they'll just siphon it out once this whole the way this thing works is you 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 take care of the top buy them out and then afterwards the organization falls in your lap after that it is just destruction guaranteed i'm not taking any specifics because i've heard rumors here and there here and there i even have some papers but the thing is the public devapriya ji is so tired of corruption that it doesn't even seem to move the needle however drugs is a new angle that the bjp can fully exploit and i'm not sure how much they are able to get that message to the last voter in the last village your thoughts about how things are happening today on the political um, sphere and then we can take a few questions sir no politically as i see at least uh, bjp looks strong in 15 to 26 i mean none of which is in chennai okay i feel they are comfortably placed to win the seats at pondicherry tirunelveli 
and velour i mean velour mostly velour is there is still a uh, chance of dmk coming back but still the negative names and the way the candidate speaks that uh, the women are getting fair and lovely because they give this 1000 rupees and all that he becomes more and more uh, i mean unpopular as he speaks these three i think are sure seats you can say uh, i mean if they continue the bjp continues with this they are working now they are likely to win this three seats they are, i mean hands on other three ramnath guram where op ops is standing taini uh, these two again are highly comfortable and shivaganga one seat which was uh, which mr h rajya's native place so last time when the even at the peak of the 2019 wave against admk uh, h rajya got around 1.3 lakh votes and uh, candidate of ttv dinakaran got around 1.2 lakhs votes so 1 lakh was the difference between the, the leading dmk and the karthi uh, chidambaram was the candidate karthi chidambaram sir uh, yeah karthi chidambaram won around 1.2 lakhs there is a huge anti incumbency against him they have not done anything so if these two go together along with the pro incumbency or people tendency to vote i think shivaganga is again another good seat see the after which koyambatur and nilgiri i am told are well placed uh, i mean koyambatur uh, i mean uh, now this they say the neither the admk nor dmk candidates are popular it is more uh, the i mean koyambatur dmk candidate is a sindhil balaji man who is working for him and koyambatur admk man is from velmani they are working for it but if they split the votes i mean uh, of uh, other people anti bjp vote that may still benefit uh, anna malai's win similarly if you take nilgiris nilgiris uh, a raja has got very bad name and now he has gone down such a low level that he says my wife was a devotee of rama i mean he has so we used such a foul languages in the past he has even said if you have a small half an inch idol in india anywhere lying hinduism cannot be vanished and he also spoke hinduism i mean our sanatana is aids or uh, this one like that so now he has to go back and say that in the constituency that my wife is a devotee i had a puja room i mean i have the i don't visit i don't i did not stop her from doing it now then why why should you poke into others if you cannot stop your wife because he be ramasami what he did with his first wife his wife was a i mean regular visitor of the temple and once he had visited what ev ramasamy did was he sent his the goons and asked to garo her and to see that she doesn't visit temples so if you are a follower of ev ramaswamy you cannot say my wife is independent she has got her own so if you don't i mean want to change your wife please don't talk in the open public unnecessarily this is what is my request now other than that if you look into the other candidates i mean this i mean the two i mean seven namakkal krishnagiri trichi chidambaram madurai these five are again five is around 40 the bjp stands at 40% chances getting around 30% vote if they keep this five also into win my count is anywhere between 8 to 13 is still possible five can be very sure as of now another eight if they work on they may be able to win i mean other than that chennai tiruvallur all this bjp I mean, they are not really there maybe tamil nadu uh, and uh, vinod selvam can try to get into second position i don't feel any winning chances but one thing very good is most of the dmk candidates people are opposing them on the page and videos are coming every day i think fourth or fifth constituency today it has come and they have even said to a man minister please do not enter into our town at all i mean dindigal ai periya swami who 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 in 2021 while is them assembly constituency with more than 1.35 lakh votes highest in tamil nadu is said to uh, the people in a particular town have said don't visit our area you have not done anything i mean this is really surprise i mean people are changing now bjp has to work to see that they are people are people are brought to the booth and they vote I mean, as Modi ji always says, absolutely, sir, and that is where everything comes back to. It comes down to that. On the day of voting, how many of the people turn up, and how diligently you follow up, and make sure that all those who are likely to vote for you do show up at the booth. Thank you so much, Deva Priyaji. We have covered a lot of information, viewers, uh, and I'd like to take a few questions now, please.
Sivanandan wants to know, Vanakkam both sir, my question will be this drug issue will give BJP victory or votes percentage increase in coming election? No, not just drug, we have to all say, see that, I mean, terrorism is coming again. See, if you, see, the, if you go into the Tamil channels, I mean, YouTube or the mainstream media, they have been saying that DMK has a, got a winning combination. They went to 2019 and 2021 and say 21 and the same combination is coming. But let us look back into 96 and 98. Say 1996, the, I mean, the, I mean, the Congress was split. And Mupanar come back with a party called Tamil Nadu Congress, which had the support of Cho and Rajnika, and they won all the 39 seats of the MP election and almost 203 out of the 34 seats, which means that Jailalita herself had lost uh, Barbur constituency as an MLA. But in 1998, the, I mean, uh, after two years, where the uh, I mean, parliament was dissolved. Because after the, I mean, the that time first uh, Devagoda became the prime minister because Karnanidhi did not want a Tamilan G K Mohanar to become prime minister, where, and where Devagoda was allowed. After nine or ten months, he was removed, and I K Gujral came. And during I K Gujral's tenure, uh, Jain Commission report came, and which indicated D M K behind the killing of Rajiv Gandhi. So uh, Congress withdrew the support, and again Parliament was dissolved. In the meantime. Between 96 and 98, Karnanidhi went on to a rampage to, uh, I mean, uh, make Jailalita's name bad. And they, I mean, they took out more than 4,000 sari, I mean, 400 saris and 4,000 chapels in her house, which most of which belonged to her movie career. And this was splashed over by Sun Team. And, but in 96 and 97, we had the Kwaimutur bomb blast, which tried to kill Adwani, first in the meeting place, then in the hospital place, even if they don't die, they want uh, people to die at hospital. 44 people were killed and more than 200 uh, got injured. See, that changed the whole atmosphere of entire Kongu belt. And after 96, Coimbatore, which was called Manchester of India, and I mean, automobile capital, I mean, uh, parts capital, lost its importance, especially foundry. Today, Pune, Sholapur has taken over the foundry portions. I mean, uh, this... Uh, uh, textile industry moved from Coimbatore. The importance of Coimbatore is slowly coming down. And they have not won, even in the 2021 elections, almost BJP ADMK alliance won 90% of the seat in Kongo. Now, this time again, after DMK coming, now there was a bomb blast outside the Kote Ishwaran temple, a cylinder inside a car blast, and it was a human uh, Muslim person who tried to blast. Only thing is, he had planned it to bust it in a busy market, but it bust before, thanks to the God, it bust in a I mean, vacant temple in the early morning. There was only one person dead. And after it was bust, now it is found, you said about the Bangalore Sira Rameshwaram Cafe, that group had got links to that group. Also, the, uh, the one SI in Wilson was killed near Kanyakumari. That was also connected with this STPA, PFI gang, and again, Mangalore, Shimoga bus. See, these are all single group interconnection, which belongs to some ISIS connection also. So terrorism plus drug, and I mean, along with it, minority, I mean, appeasement. If these three together is highlighted properly, I feel, and I, again, I want to say there is no anti-BJP feeling in Tamil Nadu. In 1998, with Jailalita with such a bad name, made an alliance with BJP, saying I'm the Atal Bihari Vajpayee as the chief and the prime minister. She took a, took along with her PMK and uh, Marumala Chemi and my Vaiko, and that combination won almost 31 out of 39 seats. And in uh, within one year, she wanted DMK government to be dismissed because she did not want Rajya Sabha elections with the DMK majority. But Adwani, then Home Minister, and Vajpayee did not accept. She made a tea party with Sonia Gandhi and she came out of the NDA. So Karnanidhi went and joined, but 99 elections again, this time DMK was part of BJP alliance. They projected Atal Bihari Vajpayee as the Prime Minister. That again won almost 29 out of 39 seats. P. Tamil Nadu is not anti-BJP or E.V. Ramasamy Man as they call it. It is only the projections, but between 2010 and 19, the amount of publicity with the money, drug money or other money, I mean, uh, the negative publicity against BJP won in 2019. 
But 2021, what share, share of that combination came down by 9%. BJP has to work hard. And Modi ji, during his Coimbatore visit, also visited the memorial of the, I mean, the martyrs of that uh, 1996 uh, uh, I mean, blast. And that should be a right sign. I mean, BJP should talk more about that also. This is my opinion. Thank you, sir. Next question, please. Uh, Kushanand Keshav wants to know, sir, uh, rural folk don't even know about the drug mafia that is rampant everywhere. How do we ensure that people vote for BJP given the fact that media is totally corrupt and doll and controlled by DMK? No, this is not true. Today, I mean, most of the channel, I mean, uh, of course, uh, what we see in the mainstream uh, English media, they just do this polling only in the cities and do it. But uh, many other pollings done by Tamil channels also has gone deep into the villages and they have seen uh, Lotus or Tamare or Tamil has gone into almost every rural part. And I mean, uh, the, yeah, unless BJP works in the next 15 days as the, uh, I mean, the death charge, it can be made. There is no doubt people know all this. I mean, the mainstream media is not showing it. Even Kachadhivu issue, which is now available in every YouTube channel and uh, English channels, is not spoken in many of the Tamil channels. But people know it. If uh, if you are only trusting the mainstream Tamil media, which our it is called RSB media, because Mr. RS Bharati called as red light area media. So people call it RSB. People will not know uh, Annamalai today. Today, Annamalai is equated to the level of Modi in Gujarat, I mean, uh, once he entered. So they made him Modi from chief minister to prime minister. Now, all our, I mean, anti BJP parties in Tamil Nadu are working to make Annamalai big. And he has now become the tallest leader of Tamil Nadu. Now, that is to be taken up more next in the next 15 days. I still pay 15 seats are quite easy possibilities. And our three or four seats, ADMK has also fighting chance. Uh, DMK has given almost 10 seats to new candidates and there is no local support for those candidates. And uh, like WIPO and uh, BCK are standing in their own symbols, which is they will have much more problem. So I think 15 to 20 seats for opposition in Tamil Nadu is not uh, difficult, but very hard work is required. Next one, please. Sarvani Tumuluri wants to know, sir, all these movies released exclusively by Amir, I, Amir, Aya Ahmed, etc., are so toxic that they show unimaginable sexual assaults within a family of siblings. Do they release these on purpose? What do you think? Yes. Certainly, they are not just Amir. Most of the movies in Tamil Nadu are made with a pre plan and they show like that. I will tell you the simple case. The uh, I mean uh, uh, bio picture of Gopina. Uh, I mean uh, the I mean the Deccan. Uh, uh, I mean the travels. Uh, I mean uh, yeah, founder, founder, Air Deccan founder. founder. Okay, Air Deccan founder. He had his master his biography. He had his marriage for four days as an Iyengar marriage with totally a Brahminical marriage. In this movie, it is shown as if he is a EVR follower and movie marriage was done as per that time without any Hindu rights. So this not just this Paman Amir, every movie, second or third movie, three out of four movies in Tamil Nadu have messages against Hinduism. Take another bio picture, uh, which is called JB, uh, which is a police killed a person inside, uh, of a ST person inside a, the, I mean, the police station. And the inspect, sub-inspector who did was a Christian. But the movie showed him as a one-year person. Why should they do it? Actually, my friend lawyer had sent me a request yesterday. He had filed a FAR in the station, but the FAR did not record the eight pages and took another one page small content from his uh, client and they now quashed it. He want a person to support him to make a case out of it. If somebody can help me, there is a very good case for fighting against Jai Beam, which again is spreading rivalry against inter-caste and inter-religions through movies. Thank you so much, sir. And viewers, we have a lot of sensational stuff that's coming up. I have one more question. Just one second. We have sensational stuff coming up. In next week, uh, Deva Priyaji and I will be talking about that. I just want to give you a heads up because right now, IPL is the talk of the town. And this one squarely connects it with IPL. That's all I'm going to tell you. We'll talk about it next week. And le let's take the next question, please.
Srikant Iyer wants to know, TDS Ravi expresses doubts on TM's demography is anything like what the census says. What are your thoughts? No, if he is talking about crypto Christians, say as per census, the population of uh, Tamil Nadu is uh, around, uh, I mean, 6% is Muslims and 2% is Christians. But my guess is around uh, Christianity should be around 10%. I mean, that is quite possible. <laughs> Well, that brings us to a close of what I would call is a barn burner. That is an American expression saying things are so hot that the entire barn, that is like where you store all your things, that burnt. So it was a very hot session. Thank you so much, Deva Priyaji. It was like a Sehwagis debut on P Guru's English channel. And viewers, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also, please give by way of comments your observations on this video. And we'll be back next week, same time, same guest, a new hot topic. Thank you once again, sir. Namaskar. Thank you very much. Namaskar.